Hi guys, um, so uh, this is a little, little kayak, uh, a little mod I did, I guess you call it. I made this uh, tackle box trick, tackle box. And um, this is for when I go uh, catfishing at this uh, lake. It's a, cert it's a new lake, I've only been there once, but you know, I just got all my basic gear I need. And um, I made this holder, fits in there pretty good. A little loose, but once it's in there, it's not really that loose, cause yeah, but um, I made this so, uh, so I could put my tackle box in there, cause I was just thinking, you know, I gotta put it here, put it over here. Leave down there, you know. I was thinking about putting up here, putting it under here, putting on top here, you know. And then I usually put my tackle boxes up here, but then they move, rattle, slide around, and do all that stuff. And my first idea was just to put a piece of metal down so it wouldn't fall back, but then it would be like loose and yeah, so I wanted a spot for it. And I can fit any of these uh, Plano size boxes, this certain size. I have a couple of these, so. So yeah, it just goes, just a little lip on the back and just fits in there good. And I'll show you how I made it. Um, well, I basically did is got some of this uh, half inch, it's half inch wide, uh, uh, it's aluminum angle. I have, I have tons of it. I still have like two and a half feet over there because actually like th actually have like three feet actually over there. But um, my dad brought me home like all this. He brought me home a couple of these. And I just keep and I just kept them on. And I have some channel which I didn't use at all. Thought I was gonna use, but I never used. So what I did is I got the basic shape and I think it's about. So I made it like an extra half an inch long. So it's like I think it's like seven inches long by like four and a, like four and a half inches wide. And I just got the piece of metal, you know, set in there. Drilled a, drilled a couple holes, put some rivets. I just use these um eighth inch. What is that? I think they're eighth inch by eighth inch. Eighth inch by eighth inch aluminum uh, rivets. So I just this is all I had. So I just have a box of these. I didn't have anything else, so I just use these. Drilled three holes here, did it, put it in. And I put two here, and then I messed up on the wood hole, and so I put one through the bottom. So after I got that, I put that in, and I need something so it didn't, so this didn't slide back and forth. And then um, I put it in there, and I got some more of that angle. And this is about approximately half an inch off the bottom because the way it sits, it actually sits level like that. And I just put two riv two riv rivets in there. And uh, I drilled a hole here, and I put a, um, just like a wood screw or something, and it screws right into this plastic right here. And I just screw that in, and then I need something so the box didn't slide out. So, uh, I went through all my hardware, all my bulk bolts and stuff, and I've got a bolt here, and I got a washer, and a lock nut, and then another or lock washer, and then a nut. And I have about 20 of these bungee cords. I got a I get a pack of like 20 for like three bucks or something. And then I need something so I held it in, so I use this. But it does, and this actually loops, sort of like this. It keeps the front in, and then this hooks into the uh, kayak, which just it just hooks on a screw, and it keeps it in, and it keeps tension on it. And, uh, that's the primary thing, you know, it's not, not, you know, too complicated, I just made it, you know, it only took me a little bit of time, and I'll show you one of the tools, if you're modifying kayaks, you definitely need, definitely need a, uh, a Dremel, this is just a 300 series, I have like a 2400 series, but it broke, and then, this is from Harbor Freight, you get about six of these discs, and I put the bigger one on, and this can cut aluminum, brass, and copper. Basically, any soft metal. I put the bigger one on, and I just cut, cuts it right off. Here's another piece. And I had the aluminum, uh, the the angle, and I had the rivets. I had everything, so it's basically free. Um, so uh, I'm gonna install it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, I'm just here.
I installed it. And uh, if you're looking this way, you can't really see it. All you see is this shiny piece, and you start coming back to around, and you see more metal. And right here is my screw, and you can't access this because there's a panel behind it, so you have to put screws in. And also, I put the screw in so you can just easily remove it if you don't want it. And so, just move that out of the way. And so, like, see how good it is, but it's in there, looped around, hooked on the screw. You know, it's not gonna come out. Well, you just have to actually, you just have to sort of put it over that. But yeah, it's not gonna come out. Let's see, it's blocking it. So, um, yeah, and then you just take off this, take it off the, take it off the screw, just let it, you know, go. Then you pull out your tackle box, you know, do whatever you need to do. Push, push it back in, grab it, and then just slide it on there again. So it's pretty good, nice and concealed. And then I could do the same thing on the side if I wanted to, but I don't really need to. But yeah, that's just the uh, basic concept of it. You know. Just my basic concept of what I did there. And uh, so yeah, see you guys later.